If you're implementing a certificate authority or you're building out a set of PKIs in your environment, then the ability to recover keys is also going to be very, very important for you. The larger your organization becomes, the more information you're going to start encrypting, the more important that is going to be in your environment. This process is usually integrated into the certificate authority you might be using. That way, you can build this plan for your key recovery, have it automatically as part of your certificate authority. And then when you start building other certificates, the key recovery aspect is already integrated into the mathematics behind the keys that you're distributing. Building a key recovery agent in your certificate authority is really just like building any other certificate. But this particular one is one that you'll use just in case you need it, in case you need to recover somebody else's key. I'm going to start up the Microsoft Management Console. And I'm going to go to the File menu and add in the certificates front end so you can see that. I'm going to also add in the certificate authority as well for this local computer. And we'll click OK. Under the certificates, if I wanted to build out one uh, of the certificates that I would use to create that key recovery, I'm going to go to my All Tasks and request a new certificate and specify in that new certificate that it's going to be a key recovery agent. But I could also create a basic EFS certificate, a user certificate, an administrator certificate. Again, this is just like any other cert. It's just that this one is one that we will be using to do our key recovery. And then once we do that, under our certi certification authority here, we'll be able to see what requests have been pending. And this is the one that I just created that was going to be created just for the key recovery agent. And that's the idea here is that I would now use this particular certificate to be my recovery agent that I could use to recover in case someone was to lose their private key, they were to lose their laptop, and I would need to get into that encrypted information. Whether you're using the Microsoft Certificate Authority or any other third-party CA, you want to be sure that the process of recovering keys is part of the overall process of your PKI.